Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the different types of mitosis that has been reported so far. So let us look into what are the different types of mitosis that can happen. The first type is known as the anastral mitosis. This happens typically in case of plant cells. Here, the spindles are devoid of the asters and we know what are asters. These asters are central like structures which produces uh, microtribular protein like structures which actually help in the attachment of the centromeres of the chromosomes. The second type is known as the amphiastral mitosis. This happens mostly in case of animals which have got two asters and these two asters are present in the opposite poles of the cells. The third type of mitosis which can happen is intranuclear or promitosis because this is called so because the spindle formation happens or occurs inside the nuclear membrane. Here the nuclear membrane does not dissolve or they do not dissolve in the cytoplasm. So nuclear membrane remains intact and the spindles that are formed are inside this nuclear membrane. The fourth type of mitosis is known as extranuclear or U mitosis. Here the spindle formation occurs outside the nuclear membrane because here the nuclear membrane does not remain intact and it is dissolved in the cytoplasm. So this is known as U mitosis. The fifth type is known as endomitosis. This results in the formation of polyploidy because the chromosomes and the DNA they duplicate and they replicate but it fails to segregate or separate. Hence it results in the formation of polyploidy. And the last type or the sixth type which has been reported is the free nuclear division. Here repeated karyokinesis that is nuclear division occurs but this is not followed by cytokinesis. So it results in the formation of multinucleated cells and this phenomena or this type of cells are also known as the senocytic type of mitosis. So in this video we have talked about the six different types of mitosis that has been reported. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.